Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Sage 50, the Receipts window is used to enter cash sales as well as deposits without invoices. It is also used to apply payments to existing customer invoices. When you select a customer ID within the Receipts window, all unpaid invoices for the selected customer will appear. You can enter payments for the entire amount due or partial payments. You can also apply credit memos and prepayments to invoices within the Receipts window as well. To access the Receipts window, you select Tasks from the menu bar and choose the Receipts command. This will open up a smaller window the very first time that you do this, which prompts you to select a cash account to use for your receipts. Select the account that you wish to use from the drop-down of Cash Account Choices, and then click OK to view the receipts window. Now if you elected to assign the deposit ticket ID in the receipts window when you set your customer defaults, then at the top of this screen is the deposit ticket ID field. Note that whatever code you enter here, which is the date by default, groups the amount of that receipt with any other receipts that share that same code when you select deposits within the account reconciliation screen. Now, if you elected to use the Select for Deposit window in order to assign your deposit ticket ID values, then this field will not be available to you within the Receipts window. Next, you select either the Customer ID or Vendor ID from the drop-down field of the same name, and then select the specific Customer ID or possibly Vendor ID from the adjacent drop-down to the right of the first. Now if you need to enter a receipt for a customer who is not in your customer list, then you simply leave both these fields blank and instead type the customer's name as you would like it to appear on the receipt into the name field. Now one reason that you're able to also choose a vendor ID within the receipts window is to deposit a vendor refund into a selected cash account. Next you enter a reference code for the transaction into the reference text box. This is typically where you'll enter the check number used if the customer is making a payment by check. Now you can, however, type any code that you would like to use as a reference into this text box. Now you enter the receipt number into the receipt number text box if you will not be printing the form. Otherwise, leave it blank and you can assign the receipt number while printing the form. You can then enter the date that the payment was received into the date text box or assign the date using the calendar drop down within the text box if you prefer. You can then select the method of payment used within the receipt by using the payment method drop down. Now notice that there's also a process credit card button and you can click on this button to open up a window into which you can enter the customer's credit card information. You can use this to process credit cards through Sage 50 if you sign up for their credit card processing service. Now the balance of the selected cash account that you chose for the receipts window will be displayed to the right. Note that if it says and calculated in the cash account balance field, then you can click the small dollar sign recalculate button that appears to the right to display the correct total balance. Next at the bottom of the receipts window, you would select the apply to revenues tab to enter line items that are purchased and not associated with any outstanding invoices. So when a customer without open invoices is selected, this tab will automatically come forward over the other tab. And this is where you can enter your cash sales. Now customer deposits made in advance, meaning prepayments, can also be entered into this tab by simply checking the prepayment checkbox. Now you instead select the apply to invoices tab to receive payments against open customer invoices. Note that this tab will automatically appear with customers that have one or more open invoices. On this tab, you'll see the invoice, the due date, and the amount due. 
You can enter a description for each invoice into the description field if desired. If the customer qualifies for a discount, that amount will be displayed here as well, and you can change it if needed. You can also enter a value into the amount paid for a selected invoice in order to take partial payments, or you can simply check the pay checkbox to receive the full amount due. Note that if you had selected a vendor ID within the receipt, then instead you see the Apply to Vendor Account tab appear below, and you use that to record vendor refund amounts. Once you're finished using the Receipts window, you can simply click the Save button to save the receipt, or the Print button to print the information if required. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.